Hello everyone, welcome to Dulcie's Creations. My name is Dulcie and today we I started this project and then I thought I'm going to make it slightly different. So it's a decoupage box with a, I like to call her a steampunk lady. Sorry the light is in the way. There you go, that should be a little bit better. Yep. And I had already done, <laughs> painted the box you can see from the, the edge over there. And then I thought, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this one differently. So this is what I've done. I have put paper on there, glued it down with lots of wrinkles. And now I want to paint it. So I want to sort of give it a leather feel and a leather look. I think you've seen me do this before with a few of my notebooks. So I decided I wanted to try doing it. Sorry if I'm making anybody sick I'm just trying to have some light and yet not have too much glare on the box here you go it's all gone now so I'm going to start now what I want to do is as you would see on from the edge I have pulled the colors from the top here so I'm going to start with some copper and then I'm going to blend colors in I've got some copper here that I've this turquoise color and yes this was an afterthought of doing this video because like I say I had already started the box and then because it's a different one um, a different way of doing it you know I thought well let me put this on video because you have seen me put a box before a box together before so I just wanted I thought you know it is different we'll put this one on video so obviously I'm not as ready as I should be it's Dale Rowney Phalo Tur Turquoise and this is what I want to use I love this color I think it's a bit dark or maybe it's just looking dark for me because it doesn't look too bad actually yeah. Now, there is some red, as you can see, there's little bits of red there, and I want to put a touch of red in it. I mean, I do love red, one of my favorite colors, so how could I not? Now, I've got some red mixed because I was going to do an acrylic pour, still will probably tomorrow or so. I'm just going to use some of that. And um, the top of the box has had two coats of the Hodge Podge. Let's do this red. Oh, yes. But not least, I want to put some gold in there, and it's going to give it that perfect shine, especially the um, 24 karat gold. I'm just going to close that because I don't mind if a little bit of the border there gets it. And then I also have all oh, that might be too much. I also have to figure out is um, what color I'm going to do the slip. What I've also started doing lately. And the one box is due to still come up on video. Well, by the time you see this, it would have had it anyway. It's called my black box. And what I've started to do is I've painted the inside of it. And it looks absolutely stunning. And then I've just put some paper on the lid. In the black box, I also put it at the bottom. And it just looks, it gives it a different... A different class a different touch I think to just having like I've always done just the bare minimum on the inside 
so I might do that with this one I just need to figure out I'm using a bigger brush just to sort of polish and take away too much of the gold here and there so I think I've managed to bring out all the colors that are on the top to the bottom and give the box a different effect yes I think I, I'm going to think about what to do on the inside and whether I want to carry on this new painting of mine. Um, if I do that, I want a neutral color, obviously, on the inside. Otherwise, it will be just too much, I think. Even though one of the colors I would probably consider doing would probably be that turquoise color. So I'm just going to let this dry for now. box is now finished painting. Silver coats of varnish. I have also done the inside um, but I've just laid all the bits and pieces that I want to stick on so before I show you the inside I think I'll stick all of these on and my lights are out but why you can also see so wonderfully is I'm on the opposite side I'm not at my counter where I generally do all my recordings because I have two wet paints on that side so I'm actually working on my desk and this is the side where I will all I generally do all my paper crafts. That's also why you have a bit more light because the the blinds are open. Okay, so I'm going to put down these bits that you can see, but all I'm going to actually use is I'm just using super glue. Does the job. It works brilliantly. And I've got gloves because it takes me forever to take super glue off my hands. Hopefully we won't get gloves stuck on the box. So I'm very pleased with how this box has turned out. Even the inside, I did do it the turquoise color that I'd mentioned earlier on, and then just put some colors like I did on the outside basically. But I will show you. Let's just put these down, hopefully in the correct spot. When I will do those, once I'm finished doing this and um, they are stuck down, I do go over the varnish one last time. Now a lot of these are cogs, steel, metal, whatever you want to call it, but some of them, like this one, they are made of resin. My good friend Steve, every once in a while he'll send me a batch of them, which is really really appreciated and I do love using them. I've used them on my boxes before but I've also used them on one or two notebooks if, I, if I'm correct. So yeah they definitely do get used. There's another one in resin. I think all the colored ones on here except for the the rose gold here and there they are not resin. Uh, can you see that top one? They're not resin. I actually had forgotten I even had them. See, she has a starfish on her right there. So I had a starfish and I thought, oh, why not put it on? She actually fits perfectly there. Perfectly. Like it was meant to be there. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's very decorative. I really do like it. And as you can see, I'm putting it over a red one. Alrighty. So that's all of them. Well, if I missed any, they'll drop out. Let me show you the inside while we're all here. So... The sides look absolutely beautiful. They're varnished and they're just so perfect. And then, oh, it's still a little bit sticky because of the varnish. But there you go. There's the top and there's the bottom. And everything is varnished, even the inside. So that's ready. I'm just debating if I'm going to put a cord here so it doesn't just flip open. But I'll see. But that's it. And as usual, please do stay to the very end and um, you can then see it on my rotating table as it goes around and you can see how beautiful the bottom does look. I want to thank you all so very much for joining me. If you're new and you've enjoyed this 
project and would like to see more, please do subscribe, like my videos, press that bell so you're notified of all the upcoming videos and all the upcoming projects. Thank you again for being here with me. And above all, wherever in the world you might be, please stay safe, stay well, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.